Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this webinar, Imposing Tickets for Cut and Stack. This is actually a very recurring uh, question. And what the problem is, you probably know, but I will explain anyway to make sure we're all on the same page. What you see at the top of the screen is a ticket, a movie ticket, for example. And of course, it features a beautifully designed penguin. And what I actually want is a number of printed tickets. In my example here, I want 100 tickets printed. Each ticket has the same design, but it also has a sequential number uh, printed on it. And the question is, what do I need to do in the imposition engine to go from one ticket to four stacks of tickets that are numbered from 1 to 25, and then 26 to 50, 51, and so on, that if I cut the imposed sheet, I get four stacks of 25 tickets, and all I have to do is put them one on top of the other, and I have sequentially numbered 1 to 100. And in order to do that, you need something like this. You need to generate sheets, and you see the first two sheets that you need here. On those sheets, you'll have four tickets, and the four tickets need to be numbered in a precise way so that if these sheets are cut in four and then this, the resulting stacks are put on top of each other, that they will be sequentially numbered from one to 100. So how do I generate these sheets from a single ticket? That is the, uh, the challenge. And the way to do this in PDF Toolbox is, of course, the imposition engine. Now, the imposition engine can be used for many things. You can find it and test it in the switchboard. And on the left-hand side, you see the arrange pane of the switchboard where uh, all of the different imposition technology lives. In the middle, you see one of the easy to use imposition schemes, step and repeat. There's a bunch of uh, other ones that are easy to use that you just have to configure some parameters for, end up, uh, fill page, booklet, and so on. And on the right-hand side, you see the impose tool. The impose tool is the difficult imposition tool, uh, I should say, the more powerful imposition tool. And the, the reason it is more complex and more powerful is because at the bottom you have the imposition scheme and you have the sheet configuration. And those are two configuration files and together they determine how the imposition is going to do its job. Now, let's take a look at PDF Toolbox and see how we can tackle this ticket problem. And I have PDF Toolbox here, luckily, and I have the switchboard and I can go to range and then impose. And I will take a file, surprise, surprise, it has a penguin on it. And then I have in the impose tab of the switchboard, the capability of selecting an imposition scheme and a sheet configuration. Now, I don't want to tell you everything that you can read in the documentation for imposition, but in essence, the sheet configuration determines where the different elements are going to come on a sheet and how big the sheet is and so on. The imposition scheme or run list as the file itself is called determines what the logic is, uh, which parts of the original file are put where, is, is each page put on the imposed sheet once or twice or in different locations, is it wrote? All of these things, all of the logic that goes into an imposition is contained in the imposition scheme. If I run this, let it run through uh, all of the sheets. There we go. If I run this, I end up, and I will scroll through some of them. So I end up with 25 sheets in total as you can see here at the uh, the bottom left. And each of these sheets is now the original penguin times four, which is what we said we wanted. Um, I don't have a fancy design for them, but the principle is what counts in this particular case. And then in between the feet of this cute little penguin, a number has been added. And as you can see, that number is in fact uh, identifying this as ticket number one, number 26, number 51, and number 76. And if I scroll through the pages, you can see that the one on the left-hand side, the left-hand top, will go from 1 to 25. And then the one 
there went from 26 to 50 and then 51 to 75 and 76 to 100. So this is exactly what we want to accomplish. The question is, how did we get there? Well, we already know it's with the imposition config files and these config files can be accessed by going into here in the action menu at the bottom of the switchboard and then saying manage imposition configs. And when you do that, you end up with this folder. The PDF toolbox will open the folder for you where you find these files. And normally most of these files will be called .runlist or .sheet config. You can also have PDF files in there uh, that can play a role as well. And there will be a file that is created automatically by PDF Toolbox called fontnames.txt, where you can see which fonts you have on your system and what the name is with which you can use those in the uh, in the imposition. But let's have a look at the configuration files that we're using. And to do that, I have opened Visual Studio Code with a folder on the left-hand side. And what we used was this penguin tickets, that's the sheet config, and this 100 tickets, which is the run list. So let's take a look at the sheet config. I said that the sheet config contains the information about the sheet itself. And that's exactly what you see here. This is the final size of the imposed sheet. Uh, because my penguin is six by six centimeters, my imposed size will be 12 by 12. So four penguins in total. And then you have slots for all of the penguins. Each of these slots has an ID and it defines where that penguin is going to be. All of my slots are 60 by 60 millimeters. And um, the first two numbers that you see here identify where on the imposed sheet that particular slot is going to be used. So the left and the um, bottom of that particular slot. So that varies for all of the penguins that I want. And then I also added four slots with different IDs. And these will contain the number that um, I'm adding. So slot number one will be this uh, lovely penguin. Uh, well, actually this lovely penguin, no, the, the top one, I'm right. Zero for the left and 60 millimeters from the bottom. So we're talking about uh, this one here. And then the slot for the number has basically the same coordinates, but a little bit higher than the actual ticket. So that's why the one ends up nicely in between the feet of that uh, penguin. So this is the, the way the impulse sheet is going to look at the end. How, where does the information come from? Where do the numbers come from and so on? That comes from the uh, run list. And you can see a bunch of explanation at the top to explain what happens. But in general, what happens is that I start from the information on how many tickets I want. In this case, I want 100 tickets. And that means you can read all of this to, to figure out how that works in the imposition scheme. But that means that if I want 100 tickets and I know that I have four tickets on each page, well, I'm going to have 25 sheets generated. And that's the calculation that I uh, perform here. So 25 sheets in total and uh, same calculation here. And then what I'm doing is I'm calculating what the number is going to be on each sheet. Now, sheet number one starts with the number one. That's what you see here. And then the second one will be the number one plus 25, so 26, that's exactly what we see here. Then the number, the next one is again plus 25, so 51, and then again plus 25, giving me 76. Yeah. So there is a little bit of logic going on here to determine what these numbers are going to be. But in essence, you look at how many tickets do I want in, in, in total? How many tickets do I have on one imposed sheet? And the number of total sheets that you generate will be the division of those two numbers. Now, in this particular imposition config, the number is fixed. And I could change it here to 1,000 or 10,000 or whatever I want. But of course, configurations in imposition also support variables. So you could have a variable that is generated by 
uh, an automation tool like FileTrain that comes in here and that determines how many sheets are going to be generated in the end and all of the, the other calculations that go on here will still be valid. Now, let's look at the, uh, the rest of this uh, imposition uh, configuration here. Um, well, we're going to loop until we have the number of sheets that we want. And each time we loop, we're going to create a new sheet, an empty page, 12 by 12 centimeters in this particular case. And I'm going to use position page to place a penguin in each of the slots I had defined for penguins. There are four slots on that page that were determined uh, or destined to get penguins. And these four instructions actually add the penguins into each of those slots. So this adds the tickets to the imposed page. And then the next bit is not position page to add a page onto the imposed sheet, but it's place text, which adds text to the imposed uh, sheet where well this is the number of the slot where this is going to be added so you can see slots 101 102 103 and 104 this is also what we saw in the sheet config and then i'm going to add that slot ticket counter one that's where we started and so the first time this will be one and once i've added i'm going to increment that value so my second sheet it will be two the third sheet, it will be three and so on and so on, just until it reaches 25. And at 25, this loop logic will end the loop and we end up with what we see here. So let me just recap this very quickly. We start from one ticket, whatever design you want. I have a sheet config pair, so a run list and a sheet config that uh, will determine what the imposition engine is going to do. And when I execute that, it will generate 25 sheets. There we have them. And on those 25 sheets, those numbers will be added in such a way that if I make two cuts in the sheet, one horizontal, one vertical, I will end up with four stacks. And those stacks can be put on top of each other and then I will have sequentially tickets from 1 to 100. As I said before, the design of this ticket of course is very very simple. The design of the number that gets added is very very simple. These things can be uh, spiced up of course. The imposition configuration that I have here is fixed. Of course, you can use variables to do more stuff with that as well. So there's a lot of adjustments that you can do to make this more powerful. But in general, this shows you that when I go back to my presentation here, that transforming or going from one single ticket to a stack of 100 or whatever the number is tickets um, in a sequential, nice sequential way so that I don't have to uh, reorder them is very, very possible in PDF Toolbox. The only thing you have to do is you need to have an imposition configuration that has the correct um, number of slots and does the correct calculations, as we've seen here, to determine which numbers end up on sheet one, on sheet two, and uh, so on. 